All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to be doing some really hands-on work here. So I hope that you have your pencil and paper or maybe a camera if you really want to snapshot what we're going to be talking about today. But definitely it's going to be a sort of a workshop type that we'll be doing for tonight's talk in here. And I hope that you are, of course, Welcome, welcome, and good evening to all our members, friends, and also the public. If you are first time listening to us, do type in one. So I know that you're first time listening to us. If you are regular, just type in two. And also, again, do share this video in your timeline. And uh, this is the final of our three series about preparing the next big move in the KLSC and US market. Uh, for this week, we'll be talking about building, right? A building a uh, winning trading plan that's uh, this this one in here so that's the one that you see and uh, our focus has always been on the KLSE market and pretty much using the tools that we have uh, in in our arsenal the VSA 360 volume spread analysis of course this is our disclaimer in here let's get on started and of course the talk of the town the market conference there's so much market conference and uh, we have still many more tickets in here I know some of you are last minute people huh? but last minute may not able have a chance to attend our march conference speech our wyckoff superstar that's right our wyckoff superstar is no other than ramon bogomov of he will uh bogomazo he'll be here on 9 30 this saturday just a couple of days morning here and he's one of the recognized expert on wyckoff method of trading which happened to be also the adjunct professor in the Golden Gate uh, University in San Francisco, US in here. He's been around for, for more, more than 20 years, been a hedge fund manager, a trader, and he actually served as the president of the Technical Analysis Association of San Francisco and a board member of the International TA Guy. So he really know his stuff very well. So make sure you check him out on Saturday. That's right, right? And he provides a lot of consultancy as well as teaching to many of the students who want to learn about Wyckoff and definitely VSA is another area. So definitely not to be missed is Mr. Ramon. All right, check him out on Saturday. So make sure you hit that a registration right at the below of the Facebook in here and you're able to get all the region and also we have more than 1000 ringgit worth of free gift that we will be giving out okay 1000 ringgit of free gift that will be given out on the Saturday care sponsor of Macquarie Warren Malaysia in here so if you want free gift so make sure you come on 9 30 that's right and listen to our international speaker ramon bogomazo all right so check him out in here right definitely a great great speaker in here and let's come down to where we have all these last few days have we seen the market been really selling and all of us including myself been looking at the tv really you know seeing you know, has the bear market come to the wall street time and time again i wanted to address this especially some of you who are the first time in here and uh, these are some of the potential uh issues is this a good time to be buying why is the bear market in here and also and uh, we have seen also right the market okay what we have seen also in the market uh has this here this that's right the all prices hit 120 plus dollars in here and there are talks in here will there be recession following next what do you think do you think that recession comes when all prices hitting now that us are going into the oil embargo uk are following it but the eu have stepped behind what do you think so far right is this going to be the real recession in here the bear market that comes right i think for those of you who have been following me uh i have talked about the post war right this war is not going to be happening but no doubt if you are listening right now you have velman putin the russian leader in there right and the also the residents of ukraine plus the civil force civil defense in ukraine army are digging in there as the russians begin to you know fight on to kiev right so you know as more and more country been been dragged on to this and also the latest one is the polish aircraft remember the mig 39 that the uh, ukraine was asking on so the u.s was 
very very careful not to send those directly and then in enrage Vladimir Putin then you will see likelihood of World War 3 right so if you google and many of the news here with World War 3 coming in my opinion I don't think there will be a World War 3 like it or not right now with the all sanction with Starbucks McDonald Coca-Cola withdrawing from the Russia and many of them will definitely feel this pinch in here what's the point of going to war when you don't even have the basic you know uh, life things that you want to have right what do you think let me know and uh, put it in there so right now you, you can see uh, we have already started in 9 of February really identify good stock and looking for signs of market bottoming in there and I do hope that some of you are still with us looking into so we'll be just talking about some of the highlights that we have from in here so you can see last week when we were talking here and let me just bring this uh, here and bring up the pencil we were at this stage here you can see this was where the market actually dips right around 32,000 level that was where we hit so we were saying at that time last week that was the low right because the market this is the new peak value trade VSA chart which actually plops the peak in here the last round it went up by 10% before that from November it went up by 36% in here now this drop is about 12% so far all right technically some people do say from the Dow Jones in here has dropped more than 20% especially the Nasdaq right but let's take a look at where we are okay let me just erase this and switch back to here okay and this is where we are right now so the chart that you saw just now huh? right this was a chart it did hit here and right now you can see the market going up small little rebound you got a little bit of up trust so up trust these are what we call sign of weakness okay so these are sign of weakness and generally the markets for no doubt the trend is going down but guess what you can see here at our market stages okay our market stages which is one of the new features here are showing you double bottom okay so when those Things that you get on the double bottom that means the market is actually forming a right base as a matter of fact tonight I'll be buying some Apple shares all right yesterday I tried to buy in at 157.50 I sort of miss it out in here and uh, tonight it's the time I'll be buying some Apple share in here you can see the mar market is bottoming up in here very nice one and you have one two three four bar four bar down and followed by a green bar that's actually a very, very bullish look inside here no doubt he hasn't turned green pentagon yet but we are going in very very early so this is actually a very nice move that you see if he does do does this and then the market will but we still will have 3400 level in here because the cost is not clear all right so let me just clarify with this in here that would be the the kind of moves they have done and uh, so we are here forming just nice at the double bottom in here so russian has also warned due to the oil embargo that is ongoing in here that the west will face the wrath of the russian oil because 43 percent of eu really dependent on the Russian uh, gas and almost 25% of the EU dependent on the Russian wall so with that cut would it go up to 300 <laughs> US dollar and that's why we are talking about the recession coming on or not so this will be the next new thing you'll be hearing on all the, all the radio and everything out there in here but having said that from our green Pentagon that you see here right the market has hit below 100 hit up to 120 dollars in here and it's gone up almost 38 percent since the green pentagon so having a green pentagon in here would definitely be a game changer will probably notify when the trend has changed and that's what's always been our a part of what this uh, market intend to do in here but on top of that if you look at the uh, the scheme of things in here uh since uh, looking back at mid january okay mid january 22 you can see all prices has gone up by 56 percent in here gold prices has gone up by 13 percent while Dow Jones has gone down by 11 percent in here and that's the one that we saw that peak and I do think that we are very very close to the bottom in here there will be a lot of tests definitely for sure testing the Dow Jones huh? which is the 32,000 level in here okay so keep that in mind all right so with that in mind let's go on to our next 
Okay, with that in mind, let's uh, so the energy sector has also you can see here, right? Has also uh followed the KLCI in here. This was a slightly older chart. The uh this is the uh Dow Jones, okay. The Dow Jones future has dropped four percent in here compared to back to last year September, all right. But you can see from the energy and stocks, it has followed it well because of the many of our counter in the KLCI has moved up in here. Okay, and that's certainly an impact. So crisis is what? Ah, we talk about this, right? So uh, on our previous discussion in here, we have talked about it takes average of 69 days or two and a half nine for fully recovered when the war end, okay? Or when we hit the bottom, one or the other. So keep that in mind. We started this in February 21st or 25th. So two and a half months. So we are talking about hopefully by maybe uh, end, Okay, so let's say the end of month, maybe end May. Okay, this market will be so. Right now we are in the middle, and uh, hopefully this is the point that I'll be looking to be buying in here. So for me, what is it? Is it danger or opportunity? What do you think? Definitely, definitely, it is opportunity. That's right. I hope you all can see as much as I do. Those of you who are following in here, and tonight we're going to be talking about why a lot of people not able to see opportunity and all they see is danger. Something we're going to be discussing about in here. If you like what we've seen so far, just give me a thumbs up in here. And if you have any questions or any comments, just pencil those in. I'll be happy to answer them already. So let's take a look at the... So let's take a look at what we have right now uh, in terms of... Uh, so let's take a look at what we have right now uh, in terms of uh okay now let's talk about building a, wi a winning trading plan all right so there's now we all agreed early on we have a opportunity right so an opportunity here so we want to build a trading plan so we want to look at what will be that plan really are okay so first thing is what are the question in mind we gotta we gotta address some of the do you have any question in mind when you see the opportunity right now if you have it in there just pencil those in there or not i'd like to happy there if you're not i'm going to share with you some of the question i have in mind when it comes to opportunity all right so if you have it just pencil in there i'd like to hear your feedback if not let's check it out in here number one how can i take the opportunity now now remember the semiconductor stocks has saw piracy but now they are falling you look at inari you look at uh Jinin tech you look at uwc right is this a correction or is it a time to sell what do you think out there all right just let me know that's the first thing i'm going to do if it is a correction is it time to buy? And what price should I be buying? And if I buy and the trade doesn't work out, where should I cut loss? And if I'm buying and it goes up, how much do I want to take profit? So what are your consideration in, into it? Is it a time to buy? So those things are important as part and parcel of the opportunity that we talk about in here. Number two, is it late now? Because we've seen palm oil stock has rarely, yeah. Remember, uh, today palm oil start when it even touches seven thousand CPO, seven thousand uh, ringgit in here. But of course, a local, uh, our uh, minister of uh, plantation and commodity, Puan uh, Zuraida, said that you know, eventually the CPO prices may drop back to four thousand. But that is a long shot because that is talking about when the market uh, reopening and the labor shortage. Here. But right now with the Ukraine war that we've seen, uh, the sun uh, grid seed, the sunflower oil seed, all are in shortage and that's why we are seeing this. Is this a uh, palm oil stock ready? Is it time to sell if you have bought it or is it time to buy more? And having said that, the next question I would have is what will be the next sector and stock to buy? All right. What do you think? All right. Just pencil in there and uh, what are your opportunity that you have in here or most of you already still holding up the old stocks that you have right let me know i would okay. i like to know and uh, interested to see how are your current position that you have so far in here so those are the question in mind palm oil stock and semiconductor stocks in here okay and uh, let's go on okay let's let's push on to the next thing
Okay, so I'm going to introduce a new tool called the Ishikara Diagram. What is it? Let's watch a video in here, okay? Uh, I hope you can hear the sound in here. I'll try to play it out, right? If not, probably the uh, caption will probably show with you. Let's play this video. I want to share with you. It's called Fishbone Diagram, the Ishikari Diagram. Okay, introduce a fish. <laughs> You'll see again a fish, right? And we are addressing a problem, looking at the cause of the problem. Okay, we are looking at the cause of the problem. So we have the problems in here, right? As the head of the fish. And then we want to know what are the elements that are causing this problem. So we have probably four basic ones, right? But we can change any of these main branches in here, like the bone of the fish, method, equipment, people, environment, or you can put two more at the back, right? Oh, they don't have only four. Okay, and, and two more at the at the yeah. Any more? Yeah, you can put you can add it in if you want to. Uh, but basically, we want to address those four things. And from then onwards, we are we are able to find out the intricate okay things that people are talking about the moving mechanism, and that's what we are interested in here. Okay, so this is how the Ishikara diagram work, or we simply call it the fishbone diagram. Now, some of you who are in the manufacturing may have noticed this process in here and we have used it a lot. I was in the manufacturing POC as my startup as an engineer. So we've done a lot of this fishbone diagram. Now, the first thing is this, let's say this is the example, okay? Our example in here, what you're trying to address here is website went down. Okay, what is the problem? Okay, first of all, unable to connect the, the server. Just like, you know, uh, we are trying to address, uh, I'm not making money. Ah, why? Because I buy certain stock that didn't go up, all right? Or you can see here, right? And these are, are the other symptoms. Firewall issues, server issues, domain name expired, DNS server, and DNS uh, problem lookup. So right now, you probably know what is the causes huh? because we use the law of cause and effect, okay? So to address the problem that we have here. Now, this is a very good tool. So you can always use it among other things, but we find it very, very uh, uh, helpful in diagnosing you know, where we wanted to be, huh? where we, the issues we eat. So we're going to be looking for this right now tonight, okay? So here is our fishbone diagram, okay? So we have our fishbone diagram and what we wanted to create just now uh, is to uh, solve this problem, create a winning trading plan, okay? A winning trading plan is our cost, okay? So let's look at the, uh, the, the other four branches, okay? Okay, the first one is we're going to be looking at the method. What are the methods going to be using main brand? Then the other one is the management okay how is the management for creating the trading plan so this is where i want you to do together with me get a piece of paper okay a blank piece of paper you can put at the front create a winning trading plan i know those of you who are driving or maybe you're out shopping whatever you don't need to do it but those of you who are sitting in front of a screen get a piece of paper on your notes and just draw four bones okay and then you have the head is creating the trading plan all right can you do that can ah? Huh? Ah, that's why we want to do this exercise all together, okay? We do this exercise together, okay? Ah, we do this exercise. Then we want to understand, you know, how you want to create that trading plan in here. Okay. We do this exercise together, okay? Ah, we do this exercise. Then we want to understand. Okay, can I? Okay, let's go on to. Then next, we're looking at the manpower, okay? The people, okay? The people to go into creating that trading plan. And finally, the machine. We need to have machine and tools, isn't it, right? Machine and tools. Okay, so let's look at the first one. We will do the first one here, all right? And you with me, if you're ready to go, just type one, okay? If you're ready to go, then uh, we'll type one, okay? Yeah, Toyota uses a lot in my back time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Manufacturing process, you will have to use a fishbone diagram on. Uh, you cannot run away. I'm using whatever they teach me in the management world to bring it to you uh, in here. So number one, we will look at the uh, method. You will look at the type, okay? First is the type, okay? How are we trading, okay? We are type, we, are we trading trend, okay? Or are we trading counter trend? Okay, what type of method are we using? Okay, or are we just random money? Huh? Random, okay, 
okay, or simply hunt them, okay, simply hunt them. It's also a method. It's also a type. Ah, huh? simply hunt them. How about others? Okay, how about others? Ah, okay, listen to tips. Okay. Ah, uh, this is also another method. So this is also a type. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is a type. So what others do we have here? Okay, type. Then the other one, the method. Okay, then is the instrument. Ah, uh, instrument. What do you buy? Okay, so the instrument here will be stocks. Okay, and then the instrument is futures. Okay, we have futures. What else? Okay, we have structured warrant. Remember the structured warrant we talk about uh, the MACQ one. Okay, MACQ, the structured warrant here and structured call and structured put. So those are your instrument that that you have inside there. Then next the method in we all also must have the entry. Okay, so entry we also must exit. Okay, also we have target profit. Also we have stop loss. Okay, so all these are important and part and parcel of our our system in here okay so we have instrument we have the type what else anybody want to jump in and put it in there all right if you have just put it in there okay this is what we wanted to do great let me just take a look at some of your people have done it here uh some comments in here okay options okay yep you can use options so some instrument in here options all right, so you can add it in if you can find some more on the method that they are using. Okay, the method they are using in here, whether it's trend trading, counter trend, uh, instrument, and the other one. What about uh time frame? Okay, what is your time frame? Okay, time frame is important. Huh? you must decide out front huh? whether it is five days. Okay, which is a week. Okay. Or you want to decide what? You want to decide maybe uh, uh, 30. You see, we, ours one is 30 to 60 days. Okay? 30, 60 days. And then the other one is greater than 3 months. Right? And then there are some greater than 18 months. So it's important that you need to decide out front your time frame because we want to create a, a, a winning trading plan. The more clearer you put it in here the better now the problem is we find a lot of people many of our members of the public they don't go through this kind of analysis or maybe they just don't know how or maybe they know it before uh, in the management but right now when they are doing on their own they say ayah takesala i simply hantam kennedy lah all right and that's why you know they they see the problems why the portfolio is suffering why they're not making profit and so forth all right so next we're going to be addressing what else anyone want to add in any more just let me know and put that a pencil with you know, those on the left hand side okay next we want to do is uh management okay let's take a look at management most important management is okay we want to talk about is money management okay money management so in money management what are we talking about here we talk about risk per trade okay risk per trade how much are you willing to risk per trade now a lot of time when we trade we always think about winning we never think about losing one so when we go in idea we are pretty sure uh the the market is going to go up remember what happened to rubber glove we are pretty sure the rubber glove gonna go and go to 150 right so we put it inside there we did not define a risk so when the market want to turn upside down, coming down inside here, we cannot cut loss. Am I correct? No? So for everything, you must define a risk, right? You always define a risk. Remember, uh, uh, taxes and death and trading losses cannot be avoided, <laughs> All right? So we need to define the risk per trade. How much you want to risk out front, right? And these are some of the things we actually teach in our master class, and that's why I want to bring it out in here. Okay, then what is your capital? Okay, what is your capital you're going to be using? How much? A lot of time uh, people use, oh, I got some spare money, I put it in my fixed deposit, or then I use it to trade. So it's also important to realize a lot of time those are money that, that you're not supposed to use for trading. Okay? You need to allocate the right type of capital. Okay? So how much? Okay? So capital is how much? Then next thing is also loss. Okay? How much of a loss can you take? Ah, more important to define. Now, in our courses in here, we always have a predetermined amount of loss. We know. So, once they hit that amount, we, we do what? Ah, we don't trade anymore. Now, remember those of you who go to Genting. 
Okay, you always say uh, you bring in maybe five thousand dollar or one thousand dollar or five hundred ringgit. Uh, you go to Genting and play. You know if you lost more than hundred ringgit, you will stop, right? You won't gamble all the way through and then have to go to ATM, isn't it? Why when we gamble, we do that? Uh, sorry uh, if you are Muslim friend, you don't. But I'm just teaching for some of those non-Muslim who like to gamble. You always talk about your loss. How much do you want to uh, put it in, in your loss inside here? Okay? And then profit. Okay? Profit. How are you going to be profiting that? And what kind of profit will you be taking? Very important because that's part of the money management. How much define and how much you want to take back. Okay. Now let's talk about also mindset management. Okay. Mindset management. Mindset management. Okay. So this is where, you know, uh, we have to control our emotion. Okay. So when we control our emotion in here, we are talking about the psychology. Okay. Psychology. Okay, what are the simple psychology we talk about? You know, we talk about fear, okay? Uh, because this how one of the members say, oh, I want to invest in it, but I'm very scared. Ah, fear is normal. Fear is normal because right now we are all locked down. We don't have a chance to talk to a lot of people. But when the market re reopen, a lot of time, right, we can, you know, our members get together. We talk about fear. We talk about greedy and all this. This happened to each and every one of us we cannot avoid it we have fear and then this side we also have greed okay then there are some also have FOMO remember FOMO because now now no FOMO lah. Aha, now if the market were to run uh, everybody jump in and look at the FOMO right fear of missing out isn't it right yeah that's the one but now you don't have it uh, in here all right so the mindset is important what sort of mindset should you be Ah, what do you think? What sort of mindset you should be? Just pencil those in there. What do you think? What kind of mindset is the right way to be? Ah, uh, FOMO in here. Okay. Then we go on to um, a money management. Then right now we have war. Okay. We have war. Okay. Then we have World War Three. Remember or not? So World War Three. How do we man? How can we manage this emotion better? Is it just like fear? All right now remember earlier on those of you who came to my earlier talk i have talked about very simple it takes how long all right two months plus right this whole thing will be over we keep that in mind and because many of you don't do enough what we call management in here it's nothing that we do a lot is management is back testing ah okay back testing we don't do a lot so back testing is means you go back to the past Maybe let's say one year ago, or you go back to the few periods war that we have, and you look back at the chart. Now remember, when we do a back test, we don't have our emotion uh, invested in it. But right now, this Ukraine, Russia war, we have our emotion because we are living through it day by day. So when you back testing, you're just doing it purely very academic, just in your mind. Yeah, there was a war. Uh, after two months, the market rebounded back. Correct. Ah, no emotion involved but right now a lot of emotion right so that's why we need to have a mindset to control the fear and the greed so the back testing part is a way we look back to the fear versus greed right and then try to be in control okay how do you like it so far if you like it so far give me a thumbs up right so this is very important why i i continue to do this i want to get many of you to be on the right track of mind okay now let's talk about the uh, the next one here is people manpower correct now uh, manpower what is the manpower I always talk about create a win uh, winning trading tech first of all you must have adequate training ah uh, uh, what we call adequate training ah uh? ah uh, anything also when you go to just some one of the member who used to work for Toyota must have training, isn't it? Right? Uh, no training, how? So a lot of people, ah, yeah, no need training lah. Just hunt up money lah. See what happened? Ah, uh, uh, right. Not enough training, right? So adequate training is important. So some people say, ah, uh, don't follow instruction. Ah, uh, okay. These are some of the our we are inborn. Okay. So we are called we are the gill. Remember. <laughs> Stubborn, right? The gale, right? There's a part where we are always stubborn. We don't follow instruction, right? That's also happened. There's also a problem why we don't follow instruction, okay? Then, adequate training. Another one is what? Uh, not enough training. Okay, not enough training. Or don't want to invest in training. Uh? Uh, 
or they put very little lah, little investment in training, in training. Now that's why we always talk about training is very important. Now many of you are attending our talk tonight in here. Definitely, this is actually a very very good uh, place to really get the, the the training that you need in here, right? But the question is little compared to adequate. What do you think? Are you getting enough training through our live FB just once a week? Definitely, our master class is many of our members who's listening now in here. This is where you know we tell them once you join our program, you can come back and do unlimited training where you get the what we call adequate training, uh, enough training in here. So I cannot stress with you how training is very important. Then the other one is also structured training. Okay, structured training in here. Structured training is important. So you can see where we train uh, members of our uh, of our uh, students in here, they go through a structure. They do this in the first first week, second week. Then later on, they go through another program. So that's where you're structured. So you move out that that chain in here. A lot of time, that's what we want to do because that's only comes when you invest time and money. Just like many of our coaches and ourselves in here, we put many of our students through our training. And definitely one of them you may have heard of is our turtle. VSA training program that we did. We just ended January to, uh, to January to February 2022 and we are announcing the result tonight. We have a special preview later on to announce the winner, how well they have done here. So this is the structured training that they have in here. Okay, let's go on to ah another one. A lot of people blame. Uh, this one is market's fault. Okay, it's a market's fault that the market drop. Okay, so market's fault not my mistake, huh? Uh, I buy the stock. The stock drop, oh my. So it's not my mistake, what? <laughs> That's common, isn't it, right? I buy the stock or I chase the stock, right? Not my fault, what? I buy when the market high, ma. Uh, not my mistake, right? Uh, so that is also one of the manpower. Now let's look at the uh, machine and tools, okay? What are the machine tools you all need to, okay? First of all, you need to have one is a online account, okay? Online account that could be a uh, UOB K Hyang, that's the one we are using. Okay, then we also have Tiger Broker. Okay, then right now it's very popular one. We can use the Rakuten for the US. Okay, so the question is ask yourself, have you opened all those accounts or not? Right? Then we also want to do the uh, uh let's say we in, we integrate uh, the integrate with the trading view. Okay, trading view, and we have of course our Pentagon Guider, many of you have seen Pentagon Guider, our system in here. Those are the tools. What else we have? We have the, then we have uh, uh, for the more uh, public one is the Smart Roby. Okay, Smart Roby, Pentagon. Then also we have our right, VSA 360. Okay, the VSA 360 are Pentagon in here. What else? Then we have ah, video tutorial. Okay, we have our uh, training. Okay, video. Okay, that's also important. Our video training is ongoing. We have that one in here. All right, and also we management. We have also, I forgot to add in, the other one is the portfolio management. Okay, so that is in simplistic sense. Okay, let me capture a picture of this one here. So later on, you can use this. Okay. Okay, I've taken a photo here and I, I uh, save it first. All right, save it here. Uh, so that's how I, I do this thing. Okay, so uh, let me just turn this off. Oops, okay, turn it back again. Uh, see, now you can see it. So what we have done, we have come out with the area to creating that winning trading bank. It must have some of this component uh, alert in here. All right, so take a picture of this before we go. You can cut me out too. All right, and that will be important to create that trading plan. I think many of us, we all have a few things here and there, right? We maybe got one or two methods. Maybe we got a bit of money management, but we don't have all. Maybe we only have a trading account, but we don't have uh, the other tools, all right? Maybe the charting tools, I don't have a trading view, and I don't have the plug-in here, okay? Which is the uh, peak, valley, and our market stages. Those are the trade VSA plug-in. Okay, or I have some sort of training, but I never have some sort of a structured training in here, right? And most of the time, I just blame the market. 
So you see, this is where I'm leading in. So it's important that you have this kind of training in here. All right. Okay, let's move on to uh, next slide. Okay, so that's good. So let me just uh, screen print this first. Okay, one more time. So I'll make sure I get it. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Then we go on. Okay, so we're going to the next slide. So I hope you like that. So let's summarize in here. The main body of the fishbone diagram in here is money management, mindset management, trading method. What are you trading? Trend, counter trend or random? Right now the market is going down. Okay, going down. If you buy long, what are you doing? You are what? Can someone tell me now? If you buy, what are you doing? Right? You are? Counter trend, that's right. Or sometimes you just, ah, yeah, suka suka buy. Uh, you feel like it, then it could be a random. Then when you go on, is to entry, exit, stop loss, and target profit. Also important to have that one, especially if you are trading with, with a winning trading plan here. Then what we call adequate training or fault tolerance. Huh? Fault tolerance means you can tahan. You know, ah, uh, never mind. Today is not my fault. I didn't cut loss, not my fault, not my fault. So you can tahan fault tolerance, which is not a really a good thing, you know. So in adequate training is important. Never didn't highlight in the thing was uh, record keeping, ah, where you write all your trading plan, entry, exit. So we're going to be doing that. A snapshot of the screen just before you enter. Now, early on, remember, I shared with you, right, last week, we were talking about the peak valley, right? The market come down to 32,000. I took a picture of it. And I said that the market is likely to rebound. And today it rebounds. So it does reinforce back. And the more you do this kind of record keeping, huh? record keeping, you reinforce, you develop. Now, many of you have access to all the tools that we talk about in here. Trade VSA 360, the Trading View plugin in there, and also our masterclass. You have access to all this. It's just whether you want to uh, join our program fully to be committed and to be trained like many of our uh, students that we have trained over uh, over thousand of them that we have been doing over the last uh, one uh, over the last three to four years in here. So it's just matter of committing that kind of uh, time which our coaches through our 30 years of experience combined are there willing to help you in here all right so that's in in short in here let's move on to the next one so let's talk about our 360 in here one of the, our uh, flagship tools inside so this is a part where you want to check your stock before you're buying all right check what is the entry price okay entry price of course for those of you who are beginner you can use the pentagon guider okay then how about the exit price profit target stop loss and then the endless target price and then what about the analytics is it bullish is it bearish so this is where we actually use our uh trade vsa and something new to be released this week is the ranking you can see not like for example maybank is ranked 8 out of 10 banking it's 16 out of 35 financial services another extra extra benefit as you are members subscribing to our system so you're going to be getting many of this uh, good features we continue to roll out at no additional cost lots of benefit right and this is uh, our latest uh, uh, benefits in here indicator is our trade VSA sector industrial ranking so if you're looking for the best stock within the same sector or industry that's how you want to do it all right so we're going to do one example let's take a look at kgb trading plan let's do one kgb trading plan of course you can do if you have our 360 in here you can do more so this is uh the okay here is the one so let me just uh, make it a bit smaller so we can key in the time so with the exception of the entry price because we do not know when the entry price but should we know the end uh, let me just go back to the previous slide here okay so this is where I would uh, okay so this is where I will bring out okay here so here is where I want to be writing so I'll delete that first okay so Kellington in here let's say we decided to enter tomorrow okay we decided to enter tomorrow in here so entry price right now is 122 okay 122 let me just uh, as you can see right to, uh, today it's not updated yet it's uh, up eight percent so let's say we enter tomorrow opening why I feel that this is good you can see uh, one two three four five five bar down five bar down is counter trend so now you're buying on 
a swing okay so you're buying on a swing swing is the method that you'll be using in here so the entry price will be tomorrow opening price all right so you can put tomorrow opening price okay let's put in tomorrow opening price here okay so let's use the pen so we will enter tomorrow opening price okay opening price we can also give it a estimate la tomorrow opening price here okay tomorrow opening price uh maybe let's say closest to 122 so open at the same price uh, 122 so all depends on tonight uh, depends on tonight and uh, let me just get my eraser just erase this first okay so this will be 122 okay how about exit price okay exit price what we do is that we will look at the r2 which is 162 186 okay 162 could be uh, our exit strategy in here. Then we have a good support here, 124, stop loss 125. Okay, 124, 125 could be our stop loss, which is 122. And uh, you can see here, it broke through our ATR stop loss. So tonight, it, there will be a recompute to the exit strategy in here. But let's say we put it at 116. You can see support 2 is 116. All right, we can find the right support here. So we will have the... 116 that will be our exit okay 116 and the profit target here we are going for 162 profit target 162 okay exit would also be the stop loss huh? right and that's how we do it okay then any target price any target price is if there is any target price right now you can see here and if you mouse over third of much kenanga has it at 190 okay so you can put that at 192 Okay, well, how about the stock analytics? What is it telling me? Right now, the market is very, very bearish. Okay, the market is bearish. You can see minus 10. And usually, once the market can turn positive, you want to be... So, you already know that this market is actually on the downtrend. It's on the bearish move. You're buying on a quick rebound. So, you're saying that this will be bearish. And you're buying on a quick rebound. okay so you can see how's that how's that the the base the other so for trading that's how you want to set up your trading plan let me just get this out of the way and that's how you set it up a very very simple trading man using the vsa 360 in here all right that's how you want to be using that okay one of the big benefits from that one so i'm going to share with you one of our program which is our vsa turtle trader now we uh, many of our masterclass member once they join us they can uh, subsequently uh, participate in our turtle training program some of you have been following it and it's absolutely free no extra charges at all in here but i want to share with you one of the program that they went through so we interview about uh 15 plus uh, candidates in here uh they have to be a masterclass because they go through all the things and we get them to trade a certain pattern which is our intra intraday trading so you can see from here we have the nine participants uh, so we tally up all the result over a bi-weekly and what we did was that um, we we showed that the the winner and the loser did have very good result even the losses are quite small the winners are pretty good which i'm going to go to it so they were quite good result in the month of january and february Don't take note of it they're able still able to make there were good learning experience between the coach and the trader. that's what we are here and uh you know uh we do some sort of a guided learning experience and the winner will be awarded so tonight sneak preview in here the official announcement will be on the 12th but congratulations to our turtle trader her name is Rosalind Tay. She made a 21% profit in two months, beating the KLCI of 2.5%. Let's give her a hand, okay? Yay! Rosalind, all the best, yeah? But official announcement will be on the 12th. 21% in two months. So she will get a prizes worth about a total of 2,688 plus for our winner in here. So that is our announcement in here and that's always been our goal in here to really you know push our students through our tools that you can see early on how to create the training man we use that as a way to analyze the uh, situation that you have the cause of the problem now these are some of the performance that we have I think I show you before if you have Inari and you're investing a longer time your 10,000 ringgit will be 25,000 right now so longer term uh, KGB for six years your 10,000 ringgit right is worth 
103,000 in six years. That's a lot more money you can find, right? And we also have our sample portfolio in here for the Roby in here for 20,000. Then we have another one, a conservative portfolio in here. Part and parcel of our 360, whether you are investing and trading, we have something for you in here, right? And our Pentagon Guider, pretty much of last year, we have beaten the KLCI, but not much. You know, we're in a positive 6% tariff. The last two trades, uh, Evergreen and Gamuda, we are still in the money. You can see from the green Pentagon that we went in here, right? And the one that we went in here, the market has moved up a fair bit in here, okay? So we've done some back testing, of course, all our system in here, we back tested to ensure that it is positive so you look back 2017 to 2020 it has a growth of 24 percent for year 2020 50 percent return for 2018 uh 2019 118 percent return all right 75 percent return for december 2020 now these are all back tests as i said before one of the methods we use to create the trading plan is the back testing so we test it first how well we perform before we actually use it uh, for tonight and of course the summary in here very important is for you all to create that trading plan so in short if you want to have more positive result on your from the diagram itself we need to add a lot of positive action for example right if you want to have some sort of winning good winning rates right so what do you need to do right you need to perhaps do some back test you cannot just buy a stock and don't sell and hope and listen to every seafood that tell you hey it's okay to hold on to your rubber glove it's not gonna come back okay so you need to add in more positive action you know uh, like what okay maybe setting up stop loss moving up learning how to do enough training i think training is important and then remove the negative tasks from the bone so things which are negative like uh, uh fear and greed so those are the things you want to be able to focus in so the law of cause and effect is like this uh, previously i bought a lot of rubber stock without consideration because i did not check the stock in here what can i do now so you can apply the uh, fishbone diagram i have a list of stocks that is my problem then you look back at the cost manpower you look back at the method do you have it or not so from then on, you're able to analyze hey actually it's not my fault because i didn't know there is training that you need there is a system there is an entry price exit price and so forth i hope you actually get the uh, the point that i'm trying to address here by using the fishbone diagram in here to address the problem that you have all right so the fishbone diagram in creating a, a trading plan in here is that does the two machine work or not? So let's say I adopt this uh, a Pentagon Guider or VSH uh, trading system. Does it work or not? So you can see from our back testing that I shared with you very quickly just now. Uh, we've done 2017, the last four or five years. It works, right? It works, right? And maybe sometime when the students use it or they just know a bit, don't know all, they didn't use it, they say the system failed. But in actual fact, it's not enough training. They did not get enough training in there, right? Just like in any management, you've worked in the management before, right? In the Toyota factory before, they get anyone to work the mechanics, right? They have to give in adequate training. Ask yourself, have you got sufficient training now? Now, for those of you who are in there, what the training that you have, right? Did you get sufficient training or not? Uh, very important, sufficient training or not. Okay, and fourth, the manpower, if you're doing investing, did you get the right training to get good result? Now, if you don't get the right training, how can you get good result? No training, how can you get good result? Uh, fourth, is the investing method sound or proven or not? Again, we've done all our best in here. And most important, last is that, is there a management process to address the issue, to make improvement so you don't make the same mistakes again? And set goals, future uh, returns, set goals. Do you have that in your fishbone diagram or not now if you go through some of this consideration right now we have this opportunity in here get down and do your fishbone diagram what is the problem that you have all right what is the problem so you know uh, if you care to put it inside there what kind of problem do you have all right look at the problem first then later on you see your style what is your style in here is this right for you or not are you aggressive are you prudence and a lot of time from this fishbone diagram right you are able to create your own training program uh, that with consideration to the tools, the people, the management, the manpower. <laughs> All right.
So those are very, very important issues that we can talk about in here. Of course, our programs, I just want to flesh out in here. We continue to showcase the tools is here, right? As I said before, right? The Once the student is ready, the master will be here. Ah, remember that. So the question is, are you ready or not? For many of our past graduate, right, like Rosalind, they joined through our program and became the winner of the Turtle Trading Program. It's not easy. Having said that, the last two months, they also shared their learning in here. Now, it's your time to get your training and join our next program too, right? And uh, don't forget to smash the subscribe button on our YouTube in here and uh, definitely one good way to start will be this coming weekend. Okay, this coming weekend, again, training, a lot of uh, awareness that we, we're doing inside there, but it is a beginning to you. So please share this uh, conference right below there. There is a free online ticket onto the Zoom. Share that with your friends. Make sure you spread it around. Let them know of our two international speaker on Wyckoff in here. Totally free with free gift up to 1,000 ringgit for you to, to share with. All right. Lots of great things in here. Our VSA 360 continue to make a difference to many of our traders in here. And if you felt that tonight, our talk, our fishbone diagram in creating the winning trading day. Smash that and go over to Google Play Store and give us a review in here. And that's all we have for tonight. Again, uh, if you have any comments, any questions that you want to do, okay? We need more time to learn training and guidance is utmost important, very important. That's right, James. So I hope that you have the guidance and mentoring correctly using the right tools. So most important is that have a structured training in here. The result will speak for itself. The four, uh, the four fish bone, uh, the main fish bone branches, manpower, people, management, okay, machines and tools, okay, and method. You need to focus all four. And you focus all four, you're able to get the results that you wanted. If not, just look at the problems that you have today in here, draw those. So with that, I'll end my talk tonight in here for the moment, but I will see you on Friday. This is Martin signing off in here. And don't forget our March 2020, 2022 market conference will be here supporting you all the way. Thank you for coming and bye-bye.